Hello everybody, welcome to what is yet another expansion mod showcase. Today we're going to be going over East Scarp, and this can be considered by many people to complete the trilogy of expansion mods alongside Stardew Valley Expanded and Ridgeside Village. And I do believe just at the start here we do have some new... This one's new for sure. Hi farmer, my name's Eloise and my farmer and my father and I live in a neighborhood called East Scarp. There's a beach, a pond, and loads of berries. My dad's a vet and you're a farmer, so I think you two will be friends. I hope we can be friends too. You should come and visit us sometimes, but not on a school day because I'm in class with Jas and Vinny. Hope to see you soon, Eloise. The main spot that East Scarp takes up is, of course, east of Pelican Town, which means it's going to be completely separate of Stardew Valley Expanded, which mostly renovates the main town and southwestern area. And then, of course, Ridgeside Village takes up mostly the northwestern part. So not much will have to be changed for those two to go alongside this mod. As well as you might have noticed, I have the fish available. Uh, this mod also adds a few fish. So this is the main spot that we're going to access Ridgeside Valley from. And there's one thing about Ridgeside Valley that I wanted to talk about before we really get into it. It is designed to pretty much be modular. And what that means is you don't need to download absolutely everything that has to do with the mod at once like you would for, say, Stardew Valley Expanded. It's really intended to be more of a blueprint upon which other people can add characters to the areas, add additional storylines, stuff like that. I've added a few of these mods, but not all of them, mostly because I find the idea of adding a major expansion to Stardew Valley very intimidating personally, so I really appreciate this change. And here, luckily, we have a lot of our new NPCs coming out, so let's say hi to them. This is Jacob. Hi, can I help you with anything? He is the father of the girl that we got the letter from earlier, Eloise. He is a vet, he is a widow, and he is just someone you can gift to, not romanceable or anything. I really do wish he was. I feel like they could have made an interesting story around that. <laughs> now this is Idine. I, which is how I assume it's pronounced. I feel like many people are gonna go for her. She is, in fact, romanceable. So peaceful here in East Scarp away from those rowdy youths. Here, there is not but birdsong in the ocean. You are literally in Pelican Town right now, sorry to tell you. She's a bit snobby, and of course, as you go through her storyline, she gets a little bit, you know, you're a farmer. She gets more in touch with you and kind of changes her thoughts about stuff really cool arc like that. So, as we go through East Scarp, you're going to notice many houses. Some of them are going to be empty. That's because, as I said earlier, this is a modular mod, which is weird to say, which means that a lot of these houses can be filled by characters from other mods. So, if you want, you can only start out with a few characters. This is one of them. We've shown this off before. This is the Juliet and Jesse NPC mod. This is Jesse. Uh, they are both cashiers at Jojo Mart and they swap off. Juliet is romanceable, Jesse is not. Do hope you'll enjoy your time living in Pelican Town, Rob. So, this house would be completely empty, but instead, they occupy it here in East Scarp. And that's Jesse's bedroom, and this would be Juliet's bedroom. Uh, now, they do work at Jojo Mart. I have said many times that you shouldn't have any problems with a lot of these expansions if you add them onto existing save files. This is a situation where you're going to have a bit of an issue, as you're not going to activate the cutscene of kicking Jojo Mart out and, you know, their schedules would change, uh, Je Jesse and Juliet's obviously, since they're Jojo Mart people. So right now it has Juliet still going into the movie theater which she shouldn't be. So that is one problem if you do want to add it on to an already existing save. This down here is an empty house. No one currently occupies it. Also, if you want to see a lot of the mods that are kind of officially condoned by East Scarp, they are listed on the East Scarp Mod Nexus page. So you can check them all out, see what you want to add if you do want to go with this. Also, in terms of like kind of going off of the default art style, I'd say that East Scarp does it a lot better than Ridgeside Village, personally. 
Here we have the ocean, just some normal ocean fish. There are new fish that you can catch, and I'll like to catch one of them for you before we go. Swimming beach, enter the water between the posts only. Swimming at your own risk, no lifeguard and duty. No changing room facilities, but you can use this rock or just enter the water. Wait, can I just, oh my gosh. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So let's see, we can just jump in here. Okay, I didn't know that that was just a part of it. I'm fairly certain it's just for fun or maybe to get to like somewhere else on the beach via the water, but you move slowly, so. Not my, ooh, hold on. I know a thing you can do with it, and it's lucky I was gonna show this off anyway, but through a different entrance. I bet if we go over here, that'll there'll be a cave we can enter. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I haven't actually tried this, but I know that there's multiple ways to get to a certain area. Yes! Go in through here. Say hello to another new NPC. And this is personally one of my favorites. This is Lexi. You're not here to hurt Lexi? Uh, I'm here to be your friend. Friend? I like new friends. Did mother send you? Name is Lexi. It's a good name. It is my name. It is good name. It is my name. What will what be your name, stranger person? It's always hard to read broken English. Tell him your name. I'll be friendly to the sea monster. Hello, Rob. It is good to meet you. Yes. Will you come visit me again, Rob? Of course I will. This is one of my favorite NPCs that I've just played around with. Oh, yeah, baby. So I do have the visible fish mod, and that's showing me that I can actually catch some... Can I use my fishing rod? I can. Well, this looks funny. <laughs> I'm going to catch uh, one of the new fish so that we can do something with it later that I want to show off. Yeah, I can tell that this is one of the new fish because of how hard it is to catch. Dang, I didn't know I'd actually have trouble with this. Now that should do it. Got him. There we go. Ornate nudibranch. There's a bunch of these nudibranches that they added in. I think there's like four different kinds. Some are exclusive to certain seasons. Anyway, that's Lexi. Uh, obviously, she's a sea monster. She was raised by a human mother. Uh, but I believe the mother is gone. Couldn't exactly tell you why. I'm very happy to see you, yes. Uh, she can be given gifts and befriended, so. I think that's of my NPCs that I've explored a little bit into. She's one of my favorites, because I just like that. I mean, it's kind of like that Crobus and Dwarf style. I'm so slow. So that's one of the exits. Okay, thank God it turned you normal. That's one of the uh, exits of it. You can end up right up here. I'm sure you could exit from the bottom as well. Uh, the main entrance, I believe, that's supposed to be intended to be done. Yeah, you can walk over that tide pool. Learned that while exploring. Go in here, and this uh, enters you into a little cave. There's a lot of resources, but there's also enemies here. There's a bat. There's wilderness golems, if you want to get them. And of course, there's like all these nodes. These things mean that you can walk through them. So you can explore this whole area. I want to say there's probably a mod that adds a little bit more to this because like there's this whole mushroom area down here and there's up here a journal. Sloppy and almost impossible to read. Chest contains neatly folded children's clothing into an array of toys and books all placed with loving care. I want to say this probably does that's morbid. I, I hope that's not who I think it's supposed to be. I believe this area is supposed to have to do with Lexi's mother. Because if you follow the path right down here, there is a walkthrough area down here. And you can walk through it to, once again, get to Lexi's area. So, yeah, there's several entrances, and I've already been diagnosed with swimsuit. So I'll go ahead and we'll leave this area for now. This is one of the neater areas. Uh, a lot of the new fish that you'll be catching can appear here. So that's an area you'll probably be going back to a lot. There's roses on that bush. It looks very look very pretty. Uh, if we go a bit more north, we'll be finding a lot more of the houses that are in this area. Many of them are not occupied. First of all, there's this house here. Family hasn't moved in yet. I do know there's one family that's intended to move in like around the end of year two. I believe that's another thing that you'd have to wait for if you're not 
going in order, adding this to a save file that's already been made. This is another new character. Not romanceable, which I really thought she would be. Rosa, you scared me. Now look what you have now look what I've done. I'm sorry. Me too. I didn't realize anyone else was here. Thanks for being nice about it. Look at this mess. I hope you didn't get sprayed by any melon juice. Well, that's a relief. The name's Rosa, by the way. I'm from Fort Josa. Yeah, I know, Rosa from Josa. My parents had a weird sense of humor. I'm working here temporarily. The owners of the inn are away for a while, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Maybe if I'm lucky, we'll even get some guests. As you can probably smell, I enjoy baking, and this place has a great kitchen. So if you ever find yourself in need of baked goods or coffee, I'll be selling them at the counter. Feel free to stop by. Anyway, I'd better get this messed up melon in the bin. Don't be a stranger. Uh, what did you say your name was again? Okay, don't be a stranger, Rob. And yet another character. I feel like people would go silly over her if, like, she was romanceable. And there is a little store here. Nothing really special, just some food. I mean, I guess that's a pretty cheap coffee. I don't know. Weird. I don't know if there's any real merit to those food choices. I don't believe there's any way to stay in this inn like there is at the Ridgeside Village one. There's a couple of different rooms that you can go to. Some over here. I'd imagine that maybe some mods add a few care. I believe this is, these are probably the rooms of the original family that owns the inn. She's just a temporary looker over. Uh, there are certain families that can come to visit just like randomly throughout the year and they'll stay in this inn for a little bit. I haven't experienced that myself, but it's in all the notes. So I assume that it's true. As you can see, if I try to go into one of the beds, nothing really happens. Bear statue. I always think it's gonna heal me because of the roguelike mod. And then there's a spa down here and a boiler room, which is really cool. Oh, we can go in here and check it out. I always try to click on the books just to see if there's any lore to give us. The spa room is functional, if you're wondering. You can go in, go through, and all that. I never noticed you have flip-flops. I have legitimately never noticed that before. Anyway, that's a good way to regain your energy, I suppose, if you're running out in East Scarp. Although she does sell food, so rarely used. It's in very good condition. It's a very nice building. I love the way that they decorated it. Anyway, that's the inn. Hopefully it's not getting too late to where we'll be able to go into this house. Nope, that's another empty house. This house, I mean. This is actually Ideen's house. Uh, she is not here right now, but over here we can see Baron Munchington, who is wonderful. Just a cat. Uh, I want to say maybe later you can start giving gifts to Baron Munchington after you've gotten a good amount of relationship with Eloise. Not Eloise, Idine. Some of the names are really similar. Uh, I think I'm gonna, before we go exploring more, another uninhabited house, by the way, here. Completely empty for your decorating pleasure. Uh, before we go on, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for the night, and I'll meet you back here. Oh, there's everyone coming by. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Alrighty, I went ahead and slept through two days because yesterday was raining. Hoping that, hopefully, yeah, we could come see Juliet today. Can't imagine why a cool city slicker would come to a dead end town like this. But that's cool, whatever floats your goat, my goat. So she's a bit of a rebel. Uh, she has a little bit of a plot line where she like, hates working for Joja. She, wage slave is the word. She needs to work, but she hates Joja. So, I, I really like her. I think she's probably a character that I would personally romance if I had the choice. Uh, anyway, we have Idine's house here again. I wanna talk to her again. I wanna get more words. Are you growing flowers on that farm of yours? They shall certainly brighten things up. See, she's not all doom and gloom. I'm especially fond of the blue jazz. They add a unique touch to my bouquets. I believe that's a loved item. So that's a hint right there. Can I? Man, I just want to read the notes, dude. That's all I want to do. Yeah, Eileen's house. Uh, if we go north, hopefully they should both be home so we'll be able to meet Eloise. There she is. 
Want to come and visit our ranch sometime? You can meet Princess Midnight and Sir Flufflekins. There's a bit of a naming scheme I'm noticing here. That's Eloise. She's another child. We've got a parrot too. His name's Richie, and he's a macaw. He knows heaps of words, and not all of them are polite. <laughs> it's nice. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Oh, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, this is the vet office. Uh, there's not really much you can do. <gasps> the real macaw. You're kitty, kitty, kitty. Richie starts barking like a dog and laughing hysterically. Nice. Uh, I don't believe there's anything of business you can do here, but it's a really nicely like decorated area. Kitty, kitty cat, looks like the chair's taken. Her ladyship princess, Midnight the Third, eyes you regally. You feel judged and found wanting. Oh my God. I will say the descriptions for things, like one thing I love to do is just like click on things. The descriptions for things has been fantastic. Like absolutely knocked it out of the park. It's tuned to the Natural History Channel. There's a documentary playing on birds of the rainforest. Yep, so obviously they like birds. Uh, they like animals of all kinds because this is a veterinary veterinarian clinic. Anyway, you'll find Eloise hanging out with Jas and Vincent a lot because she'll be getting schooled by Penny. <laughs> I can't remember the names as well. There's a barn in there and I just want to show it off. There's not, oh yeah, that's right. Remember when I mentioned he's a widow? Yeah, there's her grave. Like I said, they everything's like decorated very nicely with like regards to pretty much everything, lore, whatever you might need. There's another area back up here. Small shed. This is where uh, Eloise hangs out. Just a little bit of like a treehouse kind of situation. And then this actually connects up to the quarry or the quarry, whatever you want to call it. So if you ever need a shortcut here, you can go through there. Now going over here to the right side of the vet, there's not too much here, but there is a little silo that we can go in and it is empty. Again, this is another building that I believe will be filled if you download certain character packs. So go for it if you want to. I want to say that there's like one character featured for every empty building here. I'm not 100 about that though, so don't take my word. I'll tell you one thing, if you ever run out of wood, you're fine. With this mod, you're going to be good forever. There's another path up here that actually leads to a fun little farm area. And here he's looking for his cat. Whomst we saw earlier. Hello, Rob. I don't suppose you've seen a small black cat, have you? She's run away, and I don't like her wandering outside at night, not with all these crabs around. Cra wait, crabs specifically? Hopefully she'll show herself soon. You know, I'd be more worried about, like, I don't know, wilderness, wilderness golems. Have you been up here before, Rob? No. It was called Mountain Meadow Farm and grew produce for the miners. There was talk of turning it into a memorial garden, but nothing ever came of it. That's right, uh, this used to be a mining town. That's why there's the, the like mine area that we went into earlier that had the wilderness golems and all that. And that's a pity. There's good soil here under all this debris. That's your hint. Kitty. Love that cat. I wish that was one of the options in game, a black cat. super nice looking uh yeah so if you want you can hoe the ground here and you can plant crops you can put fruit trees kegs whatever you really want out here it's all yours for the taking it's a little bit out of the way for my tastes but hey to each their own if you want to use it go crazy that reminds me there is one new crop in this mod as well uh, i want to say it's a summer crop now this is weird <laughs> yeah so this is the kind of wilder area so there's like void goats he looks like he has an attitude just for no real reason i'm assuming that maybe like someone's uh heart cutscenes have something to do with up here there's something weird about this goat you don't say baby goat as well uh, if we come over here to the right i believe there's a few new fish that we can catch in this little pond here yeah, this is a spot that you can catch a few more of the new ones, so I'll 
go ahead try to get one of them and that's a tiger tiger what are they called fish i don't know sure enough got a co kokani salmon which funnily enough i don't know if it shows up in the visible fish mod and bait god bless and then there's another area up here that's a little oh there it is so it does show up another uh a little bit of foreboding area here. Strange and unpleasant smell wafts out of the depths. A mixture of shadows, smokes, and something deeper. Something darker. You decide it's safest not to venture further. Again, I don't know if that's something that is unlocked later. That looks suspicious. Can I? Okay, I was wondering if I could, like, walk through that wall. It's also important to note that this mod isn't... It's finished, technically, but there's things that they want to add. It's constantly getting updates. So, not constantly, you know, but it's getting updates. And so there's some things that just haven't been finished yet. Keep out. Trespasses shall be immolated. Yeah, there's a little area that you can actually get up to if you go, like, a roundabout path. It can be really hard to... Can I, like, destroy these with the axe? No. It can be really hard to get around sometimes with all these flowers. They look nice. But who, baby, do they get in the way? I want to show this off real quick as well. Actually, you know what? We'll show it off on our way down from here. Uh, you can, like, there's another column blocking that, but you can get all the way around. Not that there's really much to do here at the moment. And you can get caught right behind all of the columns and stuff by going down this path here. There might be something to do here later, but as of now, like, nothing's really interacted with. You can cut down a tree if you really want. Maybe some mission. The flowers look really pretty, I'll give them that. Again, this is all a very good way to never run out of wood again. If you come down south here, this also exits you right outside the quarry. And this mod also works with the Expanded Adventurers Guild mod, so that'll, it'll all work together. The, uh, Expanded Adventures Guild does add a little bit of stuff. And that's pretty much all of East Scarp, if I'm not mis like forgetting anything. Uh, there is another mod that I added on my own that I want to show you because it has a really fun crossover effect with East Scarp and many of the other expansions as well. So first of all, there's a mod that I need called the Train Hub mod. This allows you to add certain mods that take you to different spots via the train. Uh, there's a few mods that work with it, but the one that I added is the Stardew Aquarium mod. This is so cool. So like, you know how in the museum you don donate all of your like artifacts and minerals? This is basically that, but for fish. And there's not too much of a reason that you're given to do it. There's a few shops here, nothing ever special that I've seen so far. And you can explore the beach. I guess we can see what is swimming around in the beach. Just regular fish. Oh, flounders, that's a summer fish and it's spring right now. So I guess it's kind of like summer fishy. I don't know. Couldn't tell you the exacts for that because I haven't really done testing with it, but Hey, flounders in spring if you want them. Anyway, main part I want to show off is obviously the aquarium. There is a shop over here that has a few interesting items. The fishbowl is new. That was not in the original. It's just a de decoration. Uh, this gets expanded as you donate more fish to the aquarium. Here you go, Goldie. Are you excited for your new home? What a... I love that. I'd die for Goldie. Greetings and welcome to the Stardew Aquarium. You must be the farmer Willie told me about. Tis a pleasure to meet you. Ah yes, your reputation precedes you, lad. Shy face. That doesn't get used enough. I was wondering if perhaps you'd be willing to help me. As you may have noticed, we're a bit short of fish on the moment. Unless you count sweet Goldie back there, heh? I hear you're a competent angler. I am level 10. 
Perhaps you consider donating a few of your catches for us to display. You can deposit them here at the counter. It'll only take me a moment to set them up. And do not fret, we have the state-of-the-art technology to ensure they live a long and healthy life. Like dear Goldie. And she has- she, they even have different emotions for Goldie. I'm going crazy, bro. I'd die for that fish. Excellent, thank you. We shall keep a catalog of all the fish that are on display. One last thing. You may have noticed the submarine on the way in. That's our gift shop. We don't have a lot of stock there currently, but as our exhibit grows, so too shall our wares. Uh, there is also one little extra detail here. Uh, this mod adds in a new fish that is unlocked after you donate every other fish in the game. And, and as you can see here, there's like places to donate like basically every fish in the- I don't think it's basically, it is every fish in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead- also, you know what? Before we show that off, first of all, there's like a warp here. This is for the witches, the void salmon, pretty much. And then there is another area for the sewers, which is where you'd put uh, your slime jack. Down here, this is an area exclusively for East Scarp. There are areas for many different mods in this aquarium that just like it's it's modular just like east scarp itself is if you have stardew expanded there will be a section for expanded fish if you have ridgeside village there will be a section for that if you have oh there's like a couple of other mods that are also supported by this there will be areas for all of those mods it's so cool and absolutely a must have for me if i ever do a modded playthrough so i will donate all the fish Thank you. Uh, come back in a moment and we'll have it set up. So we leave, come back in, and if we look around, uh, we had a ghost fish that should be in the mines section. So if we come over here, oh my god, it disappears. Yeah, every fish also has an own like custom swimming animation as well. So there's the ghost fish. Uh, what else did I donate? I know I donated another regular fish. There's a little warp there just for convenience sake. Desert fish, ginger island fish over here. This would be the submarine fish, crab pot fish for the ocean, lakes and rivers respectively. This middle area is actually for legendary fish, secret woods fish, which would be the wood skip. And if we come down here, you will see our two fish from Ridgeside, the one that we fished up and the one that we fished up in the caves. Uh, I guess the cave is yeah, that's salt water, right? Should be. Man, why aren't you wearing any shirt? Okay, we're just going wild out here. I love this so very much. I don't think we donated enough to change the stock at the shop. And I also think it takes like overnight for this shop to update anyway. So it's gonna have the same stuff. We'll take a fishbowl just cause it's cool. I love this mod. I like myself some Animal Crossing. I One of my favorite parts of the game is catching every fish and donating them to the aquarium because it's so cool to just look at them move around. In fact, in my perfection playthrough, I literally made an aquarium out of a shed. I love this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, what's in here? Oh yeah, just like regular fish. Just from all over the place. Empty for now. Yeah. So many places. Hey, this is a good character design. Hold on. Why is that character design going absolutely nutty for nothing? I don't know. Anyway, oh, there's a bream that we caught. There you go. Oh, I bet this is nightfish specifically. Interesting, I like it. I like it so much. One of my favorite mods that I've covered, for sure. Anyway, that'll cover it for East Scarp. With that, we've covered really the trilogy of like big expansion mods, but still, if there's anything else that you would like me to cover, please let me know. I love covering mods. I like exploring what the community has made, even things that I've never seen before. So thank you for watching and good night.